Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Mod Source. Today we are in our massive, massive sphere and we are probably going to start building in here hopefully soon. Not 100% sure if I'm doing it this episode but what I have been doing is getting absolutely everything I own over to this. I went the wrong way but ignore that, it's fine. Over to this donut here. Now if I drop down and hopefully hit this, yes, awesome. Perfect. Um, I have got everything in here. Now everything is a little bit messy at the moment. I'm hopefully going to make some covers to cover wires up and things. But I really like how this system here looks right now. I've put basically nearly everything I own in here. Everything except for the stuff that's going into the quarry. That is still going back over at my main base over there. But I have actually made another ME drive just in case this one starts filling up which it it kind of is, the red means they're full, the orange means they're getting full, and the green means that they've still got a fair amount of space, so you can see that one is completely full there, the 1k, and then basically everything else has got, oh, they've all got 63, oh, 62 of 63 types, so I am kind of running low if I want to add any new items that aren't in there already. But we are pretty much sorted out now, I've got things over here going, I've got my... Uh, inscribe is going. I still haven't figured out how to um, automate this one where you want a gold, a silicone and redstone or whatever other kind. Um, also this isn't working. I think I've got the wrong one in there. But uh, this is pretty much all working nicely. I still haven't put water in here yet. I need to do that. Um, and this is kind of temporary. Um, not 100% working. But if I go out here I think it's still there. No it's not. I moved it. Um, I am having a few issues with the portal over here. Um, I really want to set it up, but have I got the blocks on me? I think I may have put them away somewhere. The, oh god, what are they called? These ones, the Dimensional Bridge Stabilizers. Now, I went over to see Biffers, and uh, as he was streaming, I think I actually could, could see what he was doing over there um, at his base. Um, there... I think the issue I'm having is that I don't have enough power to plug this in. Now I originally just had it plugged in here, that wasn't enough to work and I also had it plugged in to my uh, nether kind of lava generator thing. But neither of them are working and I'm not sure if it's the fact that I've not got enough power or something else. So I think I'm going to experiment a little bit, look up and research what I'm doing wrong. But I think once I've got this sorted, I should be able to get this thing sorted over here very nicely indeed. So I'm here at my spawn house in the spawn town here, and it's looking a little bit empty over here. I think just Assassin has been uh, spreading out a little bit and cutting some trees down, which uh, looks interesting. He's definitely working on some cool things. He's actually just right there. And um, yeah, he actually came over and fixed up my my door because I'm really bad at redstone and when I say really bad I mean dreadful so it it now works uh, like that very very simple um, and awesome so that's really cool and you may notice that there's something a little bit different here my nether portal that was here has gone it's vanished I've got rid of it completely and instead I now have this portal here I'm not quite sure what I think about the pink let me know uh, it's very girly and I just have this dialing device which uh, leads straight to my portal at my base right here right where I put it and it's awesome and then I can actually just go go straight back through the orange portal because I thought I would change up the color every time why not and uh, yeah it basically just works super easily and I uh, you know just it's so cool I love it it's absolutely amazing it's not like the nether portal where I have to stand in it forever waiting to uh, get to the nether to maybe have a nitro creeper on the other side which didn't end well and I've been worried about that every single time I've gone back through so basically now what I'm gonna do is go around and get rid of my nether portals um, I need to go get rid of mine from over here at my base over here then I will start needing to move these things because these things are still over here um, and also my imps are still over here so I'm going to have to move those guys over and maybe make a little room or something for them and yeah I'm just I'm getting things done today I'm getting uh, some very very cool things done and it's just going to make everything so much easier okay so um, I'm just over here 
chopping some uh, witchery trees down. I know that Ents come out of um, growing them and then chopping them down, but my god, my health has gone up, but bloody hell, that guy charged me, like, way, way more than the guys did uh, at spawn when I uh, chopped some trees down there. This guy came out of the water, just run at me so, so fast, it's unreal, but since I can fly, I can pretty much do uh, damage to him. But I mean, this is what he looks like. He doesn't look very happy and he's hitting me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just if you ever play the, play modded Minecraft and you go for witchery, just beware of those guys because they can hit quite hard if you don't have very good armor on, which I don't really have the best armor. And there are so many saplings and things around here. But anyway, I'm going to get on, collect all this wood up that I have chopped down and... We are basically just going to start and get building inside the Witchery Globe. I'm not quite sure what to call it, if you have a name for Witchery Globe. I don't know. Leave it in the comment below. Okay, so I'm now in the middle and I have built myself a platform that isn't out of cobble. Um, I have used older planks and I've also used fancy marble tiles, which look really fancy. They're really, really cool. I've also started planting up some Spanish moss so that this, this can grow so that I can use that in various witchery stuff and uh yeah i i'm kind of liking how it's looking now this side over here is complete pretty much i'm thinking i want to put things around the outside so that the things that i would use so like the kettle and, and things like that i've gotten the rest of the of the things but i've got i've got some things in here um we've got like the distillery we've got an altar and things like that so i'm gonna put those around the outside i'm thinking also i'm gonna have to put some kind of uh, you know wild arrow in so I need some some trees and some flowers and things like that because I know that they affect Certain things now. I really need to learn more about witchery. I was going to make a book, but I can't uh, I did I did I find out how to make a book. I can't remember but I need to make a chalk Which is what I'm looking at now. I need to make one of these as soon as possible So that means that I need to hook up my distillery get some lapis in here and uh, get some uh, tear of the goddess is what I need so once I've got those, I can pretty much do that. I can do all of this. This is all very complicated, but uh, I'm basically just going to set things up. I'm going to get my deep storage or some chests or something over here that I can fill up with certain things so that I get, you know, uh, just some, some materials over here so that I can actually just start building and doing everything really, really easily. I do have everything in the wireless terminal, but, you know, witchery stuff is hard to find. I mean, they're witchery. I could have an anvil over here, I'm not quite sure, but I mean there are loads and loads of things in here that, you know, aren't witchery, blood magic, I don't really want that in here, I've got mariculture and, and things like that, and I really want to just make, you know, a separate area where I can just store all of my witchery stuff in here uh, without having to use any ME stuff uh, and just, you know, normal chests, and it will just make it really, really simple. Also, if you're wondering, these things here, these are from the nether. Uh, the bone segments, I think they work really, really well. And also the gravestones from Biomes of Plenty. I've been collecting those. I haven't got too many left. I've only got three. I need uh, uh, four um, at least uh, for this design. But I'm going to have to get rid of those, you know, that grass over there, and hopefully figure out how to put that somewhere else. Maybe I'll put it on a higher level, or maybe I'll put it around the bottom there. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet, but we'll experiment a little bit and I'll come back to you guys when I've done a little bit more. So I've been making a way and I have already got a witch's oven, a distillery and a spinning wheel. Now I don't think I need a spinning wheel right away and the book I have is called Collecting Fumes, which has something to do with the witch's oven. Now what it means by collecting fumes is that depending on the sapling that you use in the oven, you can actually collect some fumes in the clay jars that you put in here. So in a moment, there'll probably be a, a thing that pops up in here and it will be dependent on which sapling I use. Now I've already got some in here. So this is from the saplings I'm using at the moment, the odor of purity. And when I use oak saplings, I get the exhale of the horned one. So this is all really, really cool and clever and uh, I'll probably be getting some of that. But what I need to collect first is some wood ash, uh, which can be made from any type of sapling in the game I believe and uh, yeah once we've got that we can basically start making lots and lots of other things. Okay so the next thing to do in the next book called distilling is to make these items so uh, if I get a foul fume which I need to make I think in here 
with wood. So I think if I put wood in here instead of the saplings, I should get the foul fume. And then once I put that in there, I'll get some quick lime and put it in there with it. With the wood ash, you just put it in there and that actually just makes quick lime on its own. I'm not quite sure exactly how that works, but whatever, I'm not going to ask questions about it. But once I get the foul fume in here, we shall take a look at the distillery. Now it actually goes in here, which is quite handy and it means I can just keep you know adding things to it without having to take things out first so I think if you get the foul fume I put that in the top and I think if I put the quick lime in the bottom we should hopefully start working and now the distillery needs to be right next to the altar now if I right click on the altar it literally just shows you how much power it has now I think this is actually why I need some like wildlife and stuff I like not wildlife I need some nature I need some trees and things and it's really nice that I've got this, you know, nice and open so that the fumes can disappear out into the main air. In, into the main air? I actually need to put, like, a roof on this. So let me know what kind of roof you want me to put. I'm also, I was thinking I should put glass. And what I think I'll do is cover that whole top bit with glass, like, carry on the dome. And then actually make these little bits here glass. Just this level here, and then that level there, and then that level there, and that level there. And make those glass as well. And I think that could look kind of cool. So let me know in the comments below what you think I should do there. But yes, this makes slime balls gypsum and oil of vitriol. Now I think I need those for the next one. So I think if I put all three of those into, into there again. Oh no, okay. So it actually makes those three. And then you need to, di to distill those items to get these items. Okay, so I really like how it works. It's really, really simple. There are a lot to go through. So I think I'm going to start doing these and uh, see what they make and then we'll see what we can do with the actual potions it comes up with. Okay so I thought all of these were super super simple and I was just going along and I've got to the part where I use gunpowder and blaze powder and it makes these. Now having a look at the book uh, the next one isn't so simple it says De demon heart and diamond vapor. Now diamond vapor is something I've got ready that came from one of the others diamond vapor but the demon heart is here. It doesn't look as easy to make. Um, apparently, wait a second, the demon heart is there. Okay, but how do I get the demon heart? That means I need to actually get a demon. Now, I've got a feeling, I didn't actually watch the episode of uh, Zombie Cleo's. I think she summoned a demon, and I've got a feeling it's got something to do with the chalk on the floor. I may need to do a bit of research, I could be wrong, and that may not have anything to do with it, but I think. I think it might. So I think what I'm going to do is make the next couple of books, have a look in there, see if it says anything about a demon, and uh, well, that's what we're going to have to kill, I guess, to get his heart. Hell yeah! Okay, so I'm now on to circle magic. Now, I don't know whether or not this is going to have something to do with the demon. Send nearby, nearby demons back to the pit. Okay, well that, that obviously tells me that there are demons. Okay, fair enough. So I'm going to actually do this. Now, at the beginning, it says I need to draw the circles using coloured chalk. So I have a gold and a white, which is this is gold and that's white, I'm guessing. Uh, the other colours are red and there's another colour like purple or pink or something. Um, but I don't think I need that just yet. Now, um, so I can draw those. An altar is often needed for power, which is nearby as well, so that's fine. Drop the folky items into the circle. They will show on the next page, I'm guessing. Activate the heart glyph. Now, so the first one is this. So I need a circle, talisman, and red stone. Pulls the circle into the talisman. Okay. I'm not quite sure what that means exactly. Um, I'm guessing I just have to draw the circle. Um, alter power needs to be a thousand though, which it definitely isn't just yet. I think it went up to 212 but that is it so far so I think what I'm going to do first is actually continue this now my plan was to do this quarter with that and then the rest of it with uh, a dirt and grass and that I think it look, might look kind of interesting having it diagonally have half rather than split down the middle so I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do that does mean I'm going to have to go and find my deep storage that has loads and loads of dirt in it because I don't have it on me and then we can basically just get started and I think this is going to actually look like a really, really cool build as well. So there are a few more things I want to do before wrapping this episode up. I'm not quite sure if my altar is strong enough yet. It's at 690. I wanted to make this place look kind of nice as well as being practical. 
Um, but apparently this isn't enough. There is quite a lot. I've moved it that way one block. Um, I don't think that really made too much of a difference. It added like 10 or something to it. So I don't think it's too much of a, a problem that they're fairly far away. Um, but I am pretty much ready for this ritual. I have chalk at the floor. All you need to do is put the chalk in your inventory. Right click on the floor where it tells you to do it in the book. Um, it basically tells you on this one to do three and then one and then three. So basically I've been doing circles all the time uh, with a lot of my bases so far. So I basically know how to do circles anyway. So it's not too much an issue. But I believe... I could be wrong. This might not work. Uh, you're going to have to bear with me. That I should be able to then chuck these here. Now I don't think the altar is powerful enough to do anything... So this may not work. Maybe it might be better to try another one that doesn't need as much power. Um, but if I go back to this one, I need the circle talisman and the redstone. And the ultra power needs to be at 1,000, which I don't have. So maybe we'll tr try this. So we'll get an attuned stone. We'll try it again because that doesn't have a, uh, a certain amount of power I need. So yeah, uh, although pulls the circles into the talisman. Hmm. Not quite sure. I'll do a bit more research. I'll try and make the uh, tuned stone and we'll get on and hopefully do it this time uh, before the end of the episode. Okay, let's just say I'm a little bit of an idiot in that I forgot to right click in the middle. Okay, so apparently now we have the circle talisman, the small. Uh, is, it, is it used in the future one? small ritual so apparently I can I think just put this down on the ground there and I can literally take this with me um well kind of take it with me if I put redstone with it that is really really cool I think I'm gonna experiment maybe try one of the others so let's see what I've got on me now I've got a uh no I can't do that one I've got the waste stone ender dew and glowstone dust uh, I've got glowstone dust got the waste stone and I've got some ender dew so let's try this one so you should be able to just chuck them all in the middle, except for the book, but I don't think it matters it being there. Right click in the centre, and then like puffs of smoke will like take the items. And that's done something to my waystone. It's bound the waystone to this area, to these coordinates, which is pretty cool. I'm guessing I may be able to use things like that to teleport back. I'm not quite sure exactly how it works, but... Uh, that is really, really cool. So I think what I'm going to do is spend some time between this episode and the next episode playing around with this. Maybe I'll, I'll come back and I'll show you some really, really cool uh, things to do with circle magic. I really want to try and get the demon, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of research there. I know that this one is the right of banishing, but I need a, a right of bringing a demon to life or something. Uh, it brings a net summon a prior incarnation of the player. It, you know, I'm going to have to search, search around a little bit because there are so many like spells almost in that book. Um, but this is so much fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this witchery uh, session. Um, not quite sure what to call it. But I think once I have figured out what I'm doing, this should still have a good amount of power. It needs to charge up again, I think, between, uh, between things, between rituals, I think I should call it. And uh, this just looks so much fun. And I really, really, really love how this room is coming t together as well. Um, I definitely need to sort out what I'm going to do in this area. And as much as I said that this is going to be diagonal, it is kind of diagonal. It's not on like this diagonal. Uh, but it is kind of on a diagonal. Um, like that. I don't know how to explain it. But it looks super, super cool. Let me know what you think of the room. I really love the pink in the centre. And I'm going to make some kind of entrance here because this just looks amazing i love it it looks so cool um but anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and this series so far i am loving mod modded minecraft so much i didn't realize i would love it but i honestly do it's so much fun so uh let me know what you think in the comments below like favorite and subscribe if you enjoyed the episode and i shall catch you guys next time see ya Ooh, easy.